Okay, moving right along with our Facebook chatbot series. In this one, we're gonna go over setting up the lead notifications that go out to the owner. So in other words, the bot, it does its job, it gets the contact information for a prospect, a potential customer, and you know we wanna send that information as efficiently and organized as possible to the business owner or whoever, whoever manages leads, right? So you, this is where you have to ask the owner, where do you want us to send these notifications to? Just give us the email address and that's where we're going to send you any new uh, prospects who are interested about an upcoming uh, job. All right, so let's go into, and we're gonna do this with the Zapier. And we've obviously used this in the past and let's set up a new one. All right, so here I am in my account and all I've done is click on make a new zap. So this is the default screen after you click to create a new zap, right? And I'm just going to name this, let's just call this color bright lead uh, in SC Smart Engage send to owner or send email to owner. You can name whatever you want, just something so you understand what it is. And then we want to choose the app, the, the trigger essentially, and this is going to be Smart Engage. And you'll see it as you start to type it. If you don't see it, it's because right now, it depends when you're watching this video, but right now it's an invite only app. So if you don't see it, you can just go to help.smartengage.com and type in Zapier. And if you click on using the Smart Engage app, there's this link here for connect. Once you click that, it will link it to your account. And then you can come over here, refresh the page and you can find it. All right, so we're going to uh, choose this as the app. The trigger is going to be a new subscriber tag, okay? And after you select that, you can click continue. And then it's going to ask you which account to use. So let me see if I have paired it already. All right, so probably going to have to pair it with this account. So in order to do that, to add a new account, you just click on add a new account. And I'm just going to do a search for Colorbright. And here it is, I'll connect it. And now I have Smart Engage Colorbright painting of Long Island avatar. So I've connected the correct account for this. Let's continue. Okay, so which tag is going to trigger this uh, zap from even, start, uh, even starting? Well, if you recall in the last video, let me go over to where we built the bot for Colorbright. Uh, this is the, the quote form essentially where they're completing some information or the, the viewer, the prospect, the potential customer is filling out this information with the bot. So they're tapping, is this residential or commercial? And then they're entering a brief summary. And then they're tapping their email address here, right? And then last, they're tapping their phone number. So if you recall, we added this additional action of completed contact info. So that means when they tap on their phone number, when they enter it, if they have to, and they submit it, simultaneously this tag gets added because there's no, mother, there's no other uh, actions for them to take after that. We have all of their contact information. We have their phone number, their email, and we know the details of the project they're willing, they uh, want to take. All right, so the tag that we are going to select is completed contact info. So let's go back over to Zap, uh, Zapier and let's find that tag, completed contact info. So we select that and now anytime someone gets this tag added to them inside of Smart Engage, it's going to trigger this Zap. All right, so let's continue. And it's going to, it wants to find the uh, test case. So we can go back over and let's look at our subscribers and we should have, you should have yourself here from testing, right? So it's going to pull myself uh, since I was testing it. And let's go over here and do a test and continue. And it's going to look for information. So it, I'm sure it found it. I can go back here and look, but we'll see it here in the action. So for the action, we're going to type in email and you're going to see, let me just type in maybe Zapier as well. All right, so email by Zapier. And you click on that and the action is send outbound email, continue. Now this is where you have to coordinate with the owner 
to figure out where they want these leads to be sent. In the case of this business, they just want them to go to info at colorrightpainting.com. The subject, I usually make it something that stands out. So I'll say uh, new lead info um, automatically generated by smart Facebook chatbot, right? So they usually get pretty excited when they see these, these emails come in. All right, now for the body, we're going to use, we're just gonna keep it really simple and we're just going to provide the information about the prospect to just keep it very concise. So we're going to click this plus button here and then we have the uh, information from the trigger. So this is everything that was pulled. You can see it pulled my information as we expected. So let's put name and you can even preface it by going name and then when it's displayed it'll just show name colon Daniel Anton all right next line and then we're going to put um, put my email address all right and again we can should preface all this email the next one is going to be phone and I'll select my phone uh, right here all right, then I'm gonna do just a space. And then here, all I do is select the custom values that were, feel, uh, that were uh, submitted. So you want to use the custom fields value. And what that's going to do is it's going to spit out essentially any of the values that the uh, person typed in. So for here, we have residential and house. If I go over here to, oops, not there, to the bot, so the first thing we asked was, is it for residential or commercial? So that will tell them if it's residential. Uh, and then the brief summary, all I put here was house. So project description is what's being displayed in my case for house. But in most cases, this second part here will be a long description of, um, you know, I need three, three bedrooms painted interior, and then I have a deck that needs to be stained and an outside area that needs to be painted, right? So that's where all those details will be. And it just gives the business owner a better uh, understanding of the client's requirements when they call them. They're going to call them and verify what they need anyway, but this kind of gives them a little bit of a heads up, right? That's all you really want to give them. Um, for the uh, from name, this is optional, but essentially when the uh, business owner sees the e these emails from you, you can name yourself. You, you can use your agency name, Chimera Media um, will be ours for this. Uh, could even make it, you know, something like Chimera Media Auto Lead Gen. Uh, probably keep it just as that. And you can do a reply to email address to um, to yourself. So if I want to use our Gmail, okay. And then for uh, force line breaks, I usually set this to yes. It makes the body uh, look better. Otherwise it kind of starts to run together and it's not as nice and organized. And then um, I like to BCC um, ourself as well, right? So I like to do this. Um, and you can take yourself off of this after a while, but at least at first I wanna make sure the leads are coming in, they look good and the emails are properly being displayed. And of course you're gonna run a test right now, but still it's just nice to, to be able to, to know that. All right, so let's go ahead and click continue. All right, so let me scroll down here. And so let's run this test and then we'll continue and I'll pull up um, my BCC. And you know, you should let the business owner know as well that you might be running a test just so they know. Uh, so they're not getting, they're going to get this email and, and wonder what's going on. But I'm mostly just looking for the uh, blind carbon copy version of it, just to make sure that it gets sent properly. All right, so let me pull up my Gmail account here. All right, so you can see we have a new email here. Chimera Media Auto Lead Gen was the, the from address we put. And then the subject, new lead info automatically generated by smart Facebook chatbot. And very simply, we have the contact name, email, phone number, and 
what type of job it is, and then this would be, again, a large description as to the nature of what the project should be, right? So the business owner gets this, and then now they can immediately call, uh, call this business, they can email them, they can, preferably they'll call them, most, li most likely they'll call them. Um, but it's just another great way to prove your worth as an agency and show them just how valuable you are because a lot of people will interact with this bot um, if there's traffic to the website, especially, and they will fill this out a lot more than they will the regular contact form that, you know, as far as we've seen anyway lately, seems to be the trend. All right, so that is how you set that up and then make sure you turn your zap on when you're done. So you can hit this little toggle here. And now that is set up to run every time someone comes in and they fill out your your quote request here in the bot once this tag is added that will trigger this zap and and fire off that email address and uh yeah that's just something that the business can see coming in all the time regularly so they don't really need to ask you know what are you doing for me lately uh you know this works especially well if the business is is, is medium to large because then they're already getting a ton of traffic to their website and just the numbers game they're going to have these leads come in like this and uh yeah it's just something nice and uh you know proves how you know just uh keeps keeps you very sticky as an agency uh in terms of the client because you've just stacked a lot of value uh that they otherwise wouldn't have had with another agency more than likely um all right so that's it for this video um in the next one we're going to uh set up the the chat bubble on the client's website and just tie all that together. All right, I'll see you in the next